Hello everyone, Max with A1 Website Pro here, and today we're going to be talking about exporting uh, a PDF document from LibreOffice Writer. Now, this is my LibreOffice document. Here you can see I have a letter with some text, I have an image, and uh, I want to send this out, but I don't want to lose the formatting, so that is why we use PDF. Now, if a recipient has a file format uh, in LibreOffice Writer, you could just go ahead and send them this file, of course. But let's say that you don't want them to edit or you just want to send it and not lose the formatting, lose the look and feel. That's why you would choose to export as a PDF. Now, if you're not seeing this particular bar up here, if you go up to a view, scroll down to where it says toolbars and this standard, you have to make sure this is checked. Let me uncheck it, show you what it looks like. So that's without that bar being the standard bar being up there. So you, in order to get that appear, to appear, you go to view, view, and then uh, toolbars. And then you come down here to where it says standard. And now you have the toolbar back up there. So you can export a PDF a couple different ways. Number one, you can just click on this and it'll bring up the box to export in the PDF. Here you would name your file. So we'll say name file. And we'll notice here save as type is selected as a PDF. Over here, you'll select where you want to save it to. And we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and choose uh, the desktop so that it will be access accessible on our desktop. And then I could click save. Now, another way to save, to access that exact same feature will be go to file and right down here where it says export as, you can export as a PDF. Okay, and that'll bring up the box in here you can have uh, there's these different options where you can uh, use sec security set passwords uh, if you want to set a password for the document you could just click on this and go ahead and put a password in it and we'll just do a b c one two three a b c one two three just to show you what that looks like and th so here's the uh, the set open password and then if you want to set a permission password uh we'll just do i don't know a b c one two three one two three and then a b c one two three one two three just to confirm click ok and then we'll go ahead and click export and we'll expect export it again to the desktop and we'll call this one name with an E file. So you can see what that looks like as well. So let me click save and we can put this down and I'll bring over those documents from our other screen here. So there's name file without the E. And if I double click on this and open it, you can see that it opens in a browser window. Uh, if you have a different, like Adobe Reader, it'll open up in the Adobe Reader, but I just have mine set to open with uh, the browser. Now, if I wanted to change that, I could right-click, select Properties, and then I could change my uh, PDF viewer to something different. Uh, we could change it to Firefox or Google Chrome or download the Adobe Reader. But I like it to be uh, Microsoft Edge. It doesn't bother me to open it at Microsoft Edge. But let me click Cancel here. And now here's the one that we protected, the encryption or the security. If I double-click that, you'll notice here now I have to enter a password. Okay, so I'm going to enter uh, one, two, three, A, B, C. And you can see here that I was not able to open the document. But let me go A, B, C, one, two, three. And then I can click this I so I can see what I'm entering. That is actually a Microsoft Edge feature.
not Adobe Reader feature. Let me hit open file. And here you can see that I'm able to view the file. Okay. So that's, that's two different ways that you can uh, uh, export PDF and then one without security, one with security. So uh, when would you do this? Well, sometimes you might have some sensitive material that you need to email to somebody and you want to make sure that only they have the password. So maybe you would email them this file that's protected and then call them with the password or text it to them or whatever. Okay. So there's uh, different scenarios for both. We'll go over the other features in future videos, but that's how you export a uh, PDF from LibreOffice Writer. And I hope this video has been tutorial. Uh, this t video tutorial has been helpful to you. If you like it, please uh, smash that uh, like button and share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.